The UN Human Rights Chief said that impunity for human rights abusers, economic crimes and corruption was the underlying reason for Sri Lanka's uh, collapse. The IMF uh, Diagnostic Governance Report, which was recently uh, released, also alludes to this and talks about the deeply entrenched culture of corruption in Sri Lanka. How do you view this? Well, this is where economic reforms, economic governance, and democratic governance go hand in hand. They can't be exclusive. And that's when you look at the root causes of some of the economic problems, it goes back to basic governance. I'm glad to see the IMF Diagnostics Report talk about the various governance issues, transparency, anti-corruption, and not just the IMF. There is a civil society collective that's also been coming together to talk about what Sri Lanka needs to do. It's mm -hmm. not just what the IMF prescribes or the international community, what do the Sri Lankan people, its civil society, its business leaders, its government want so that it doesn't go back into the same bad habits that got into the crises uh, of last year? So to really get, go into a sustainable, uh, long-term inclusive growth, um, that governance piece is so essential. And we're happy to see that some of the basic laws have been passed recently. All those things are essential, but it goes beyond getting the bills passed to actual implementation.